guys, what's going on? It's your boy Calypso here today bringing you some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Um, this is a pre-recorded that I got yesterday. It was like a game or two right after I got that uplink game that I uploaded um, for yesterday's video. But um, I, I feel like this SD, it's pretty solid. Um, obviously the kids weren't that good because of how they were playing. Like they were sitting in the weirdest spots. They, they had... Um, they had really sh what I call shaky hands. They did. They were. Um, their their shot was not like a sure shot. They took whatever shots they could get on whoever they could. Sometimes that works out for you, but nine times out of ten, if you're if you don't have a sure shot on somebody, you shouldn't take it. And uh, you have to make sure you get your aim down, especially the search and destroy. It's pretty crucial to know that you're going to get the kill in search and destroy. Otherwise, it's better to. Um, Either just wait your wait your opponent out, or uh, maybe maybe follow him a little bit, but don't never chase and search and destroy, because a lot of times people will dip around corners and then wait for you because they heard you run up behind them. So that's never really a good thing to do, because if it happens to you, that's it's gonna like really upset you and make you angry. Like I know that happens to me sometimes, and I actually get pretty upset about it. But um, as I was saying pretty solid s and um, the game actually it only goes to 5 and 5-0 because once we 5-0'd them everyone left um, the one guy left at the end of the the fifth as soon as he got killed and the other three left as soon as the sixth round began so um that's that kind of sucks I've, I've seen people actually bring it back from 5 to 6 to 5 6 somebody but I guess they didn't even want to try it um I did exceptionally well it it kind of on, on the scoreboard looks like I carry my team even though without me I know they still could have won the game um we we didn't have any communication whatsoever because with my asters I don't have the the plug-in part that I can plug into my controller to talk on xbox i always use skype but um as i was saying we had no communication whatsoever but we worked very well together and very well off of each other um i don't know that that's something that it normally doesn't happen very much in pubs but it did this time which is a very good thing i mean won us the game for sure I think it was the, the second or third round, a guy came up behind me on, um, <laughs> on Cat, and one of my teammates pushed him up the stairs. Now, he shot me, but didn't kill me. He got, like, one or two shots on me, and then I ran up the stairs and jetted around the corner and waited for him. But as he was going back down, my one teammate poked out of orange, and, um, it pushed him up the stairs for me to get the kill, and, uh, so it, it, we kind of used it as, like, a pinch point, which, he, he probably could have gotten away running to middle, but if he would have ran middle, I could have got him anyway, but overall, uh, really good squad, I'm gonna say, I worked with this, in this pub match, even though it was ranked play, so most of the kids in ranked play are a little bit better than your average pub players but it's, it's whatever it's fine everyone starts somewhere i know um when i started playing league play black yeah black back in black ops 2 i was awful i just got demolished i had games i would go like 3 and 21 and that was good for me i guess in league play anyway but then again that was also because something i feel like a lot of people do that you uh you're gonna have to learn to not or to just get used to um when when i first got into competitive i would watch a lot of competitive players and what they did is what i thought i needed to do so their play style became my play style so say say i was watching skump all day long i would then try to play like skump and obviously skump has a very unique play style um nade he has a very unique play style 
J Cap. He has a very unique play style. Like what what I think a lot of people do, especially when they're trying to get into, into like competitive gaming and get going with it, is exactly what I did. They watch the pro players and say, "All right, if these people can do it, and this is what they're doing, this is what I need to do." And that is completely untrue because I know I'm doing better now than I ever did before, and that's because I started playing with my own mindset instead of somebody else's. Things that I do, I know other people in the game could not pull off. I I mean, I'm when I play, I'm very quick and aggressive, but I'm sneaky and stay to the outside. If you watch... Okay, for a good example, Naden Scump. Scump has the sneakiness that go in the way I do, and obviously he's one of the best slayers in the game, but he'll run right up the middle and be able to just and be able to just demolish three of them shooting at him at one time and get away. I can't do that. I I can probably get two, but the third one's gonna get me. I don't have I don't have that quick think like when I'm in a gunfight to jump around like a uh, monkey like he does. Um but me I, like as you see I know in this S and D two times I know I went well, especially the one round. I forget what round it is. I feel like it was round, like, two, two or three again. Yeah, I'm going to say two or three again. I go up the, um, the right-hand side off of spawn and go over by A-bomb and then outside to, to the white silo thing. And, um... As I'm standing there, one one comes down the hill, I shoot him, and then I run up, I peek around, and I see nobody there. So then I go behind the, um, the white van, and as I'm sitting there, I know someone has to challenge me, so I see him run by the car, and then over into, like, the shrubbery, and then I thought I lost him for a second, and I didn't know how, which is why I stayed there, and luckily I did, and didn't run out trying to find him. I stayed there for a second and saw him crawl out, pop his head out, so I took care of him, and then I went to reload like a complete idiot and got shot when I should have had that third kill, but we still won the round, so that's whatever, but yeah, you know. Good work, team. But like I said, guys, you gotta learn to play with your own play style, not work off of someone else's. But um, that's all I have for you guys today. Please remember to leave a like rating on this video, comment, and subscribe. It really does mean a lot to me. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, please um go over and follow my Twitter. You'll be able to see whenever I put a new video. But as I was saying, that's all I have for you guys today, and I'll catch you guys later.